Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm always outside it seems like, and maybe one of these days I'll do a video where I'm like dressed up and stuff. But these days I'm just working out in the yard a lot, as a lot of you probably are. And um, I mean, I know that people are because I have seen all the gardens people are working on um, on Instagram and I love it. It's awesome. And I mean, it's encouraging to me because I mean, I'm new at it too. and like everyone's kind of learning together so I am super pumped because I have been wanting pretty much all season to figure out a raised garden bed situation we rent and so I didn't want to do something permanent in the ground because first of all it's a lot of investment of time and work and effort and it's not our property I don't feel right like digging and tilling and all that stuff so I figure some kind of like portable raised bed situation is probably the way to go. I recently discovered Roots and Refuge Farm on YouTube and one of their videos from maybe last year or two years ago is about how to create raised garden beds on a budget. And one of Jess's ideas, which I just thought was fun and very manageable, is to use a plastic kiddie pool and so i'm gonna try it out i know very little so i just thought it'd be fun to kind of capture it especially since sayla's gonna help me out where do you think we should put it right you think so yeah. then it'll be by our ginger and the other two little tomatoes that's perfect yeah this is a good sunny spot usually of course today it's pretty overcast but i think i think you're right i think that's a good idea yeah because it's wide open spot good good thinking are you ready to help me start bringing the stuff back here yeah i'll get the pools and you get the planting stuff okay we'll go out the store So we've gathered our supplies four bags of raised bed soil plants which are falling all over the place cardboard to line the bottom of the pool um, to create just a barrier help with some weeds my drill got to drill some holes for um, draining purposes that's pretty much it gloves trowels ready to go So I just drilled a bunch of holes. I don't know if it's enough, uh, but it's, it's what I'm gonna try. I'm honestly okay if things are you know not perfect this year because you gotta learn. You just gotta start somewhere and learn. And so I'm gonna give this a go. And uh, now we're gonna line this with some cardboard and start filling the soil.
smoking pepper. And what you want to do? Sure. So what you want to do is stick that right here so we can remember what it is. I'll stick it here. Down in there. Now, can you dig a hole about this size? Can you help? Mm -hmm. Oops. Where can I put it? Oh, no, no. Just, you just scoot it to the side like this. take this out and give it to you. Okay. So remember when we take it out we just squeeze both of them together. And then carefully both hands set it down in that hole. Perfect. And then we scoot that soil back around it. Cover up those roots. It'll, it's, it'll feel much better once we get some water to it. Yeah, let's pat it, right? Let's pat it. Okay, that's good though. It's It needs to be left alone now. Okay, so now, <laughs> now let's do this one. Can we put, here, I'll put this over here. Can you dig another little hole right there for this one? Yeah. This one is jalapeno. So that's good for making guacamole or salsa or any of any of our taco meals. So when we when it's dinner time, we are going to kind of when when it grows down it's dinner time, maybe we can use it, right? That's exactly right. That's what we want. Okay. Um, Mom, you're covering it. Well, I'm trying to scoop some soil this way. I'm sorry. Okay. Add on the side, right? Or <laughs> yeah, scoot that soil around. You gotta stick it down in there. Banana. Banana pepper. Here, let me see. I'm gonna stick Wait, it down it in there. Bananas? No, it's a pepper. Alright, let's scoop up the soil. Yeah, I will pack the roots. I the pack, remember? Remember we got a pack. It will be easier off my hands, right? Not with those big gloves. Here. Perfect. Do you know what this plant is? Um, let me see. It's a bell pepper. Also, you can eat this kind like. You can eat all of these, sweetie. Whoa! They're all. They're all. They're all plants that you can eat. Yeah, that's the. That's the hope. I know why you got this. Because sometimes we don't have that much food, right? <laughs> we have plenty of food. It's just something I've wanted to learn how to do is grow plants that you can. So, okay, one pool down, one more to go. I think I might put... Okay. Oh, can I do? Now this is a tiny little tomato right now. Once it's a little bit bigger, we're going to have to get a little support for it. This, you see this tomato plant right here? You see how big it is now? It needs this thing to keep it from flopping over. So I'll put that up like that. Do you like helping me garden? Yeah. 
Are you a little gardener? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite part about it? Um, putting the soil in. You like that? Yeah. You know what I think is going to be my favorite part? What? When we can actually get food off of the plants. Yeah, that's going to be my, really cool. That's my favorite part too. It's going to be cool. <laughs> We're gonna water. Good job. We're done. And it was super easy and super fun. And I'm really hopeful that it actually produces some fruit. Uh, we're watered in, we're ready to go, but I figured I would quickly um, just give a little tour of everything that is in each of these two pools. Okay, so in our first container, right here, we have the Lunchbox Red Sweet Snacking Pepper. This one is a hot jalapeno. We don't do a ton of jalapeno, but I like hot stuff, and I'm sure if I had them in my yard, um, I'd use it quite often. Now this is some kind of tomato. It's obviously got a little bit of damage, um, but I found it just growing in my compost pile. So, um, you know, we'll see how this does. The other tomato we found in the yard is thriving. So I have some zinnias in here, which I hope, I think people just plant those to try to attract pollinators um, and to make it look really pretty. Little pops of color and they're super cute. Right here we have a big Bertha Bell sweet pepper. They're green bell peppers, I think. This is a hot banana pepper. So that's this pool, the pepper pool. Maybe this could be our salsa our salsa pool. The only thing missing is cilantro. If I find one, I'm not sure that's something I can easily pop in there. Okay, over here, we have a straight neck heirloom squash, just a yellow squash. We have zucchini squash, which is, these are two that I eat lots of. We use them on um, kebabs and all kinds of things. I have some more zinnias. This is a butternut squash. And then right here is a cucumber heirloom straight eight cucumber. I hear that some cucumbers need to be supported. So I have one steak that I can put in there pretty quickly once it starts to grow. This little stem was a little bit damaged, so hopefully it does okay. It's not a ton, but it's something to get our feet wet. And so I'm super hopeful about it. So that with our ginger, with this fun tomato plant, we should be having something growing in this yard this year. Hey, thank you for planting those with me. Did you have fun? Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna have to do an update soon and show how everything is growing, don't you think? <laughs> Hope you all have a great day. Come back for more videos soon. Bye.